Alright my fellow degenerates, today we're checking out the only kind of memes in the furry fandom where 50% of it involves gigantic paws which would be used as a medium of degenerative sadism and the other 50% is dedicated to a large amount of pure masochistic tendencies and submissive horniness. We're talking about micro furry memes. More masochism damn it. So, way back in March, we did Macro March, and now it is May, we travel to the other end of that spectrum and give spotlight to the tiny masochists that are micro furries. To the uninitiated, what is a micro furry? Well, it's a good thing that Google is constantly at our beck and call and would be more than happy to let us know about our topic at hand. Hey Google, what are micro furries? According to Wikifur, as a fur speech term, it is normally used in the context of microfur, meaning a furry character who is smaller than the normal size. It may also refer to characters who are normally sized, but simply small. Well, there you go. Now we got that squared away, let's go dive right in, shall we? Secretary birds always look so graceful to me, but then I remember they stomp their prey to death with a force five times their body weight and suddenly I keep my distance. Micro furs be like, ah, jokes on you, I'm into that crap. Nah. See, this is what I was talking about. Massive bouts of pure masochistic tendencies. To the point where it's almost bordering on self-harm. Now I know that being a micro fur isn't always like this, okay? I know for a fact that not all microfurs would want to be stomped to death. I know that for a fact. I don't want to generalize. But the majority of the memes that I found involve so much of this that you're gonna be seeing these kinds of themes throughout the entire video, okay? By the time you we'd be done uh, with this video, You'd be seeing more masochism than in a graceful plays video. And that's me not exaggerating, okay? It will happen. You dare talk to me, mortal? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for showing you guys this. And I feel bad for this character because I I'm facing this off on what I'm seeing here, okay? This is what I'm observing. He is clearly not enjoying this. I mean, yeah, I get the kink between uh, dominant and submissive, but in all honesty, looking uh, at this, it, this isn't something that I enjoy particularly, you know? And I know this is just furry art. This is fictional. This doesn't actually happen. And this just, it just makes me uncomfortable, you know? And a matter of fact is, I can't judge this too much. Because this is someone, you know, this is something that some people enjoy, you know, they don't actually partake in it. I, I hope they don't actually partake in stepping on people to hurt them for pleasure. But still, I can't judge this too much. POV, you are a micro. You know what, whether or not you would want to be stomped on... I think it'd be your choice, you know, whether or not you want to be stomped on. If you don't want to be stomped on, I think it's your in your best interest to run. But if you want to go out this way, I would still tell you to run because no one wants to see you die. Even if this is your kink, even if you actually find this fun and exciting and a little bit pleasurable, I wouldn't see it uh, that way. But I would still tell you to run, you know? Horny micros, 0.2 seconds into the E621 day, be like, how come I haven't been bored yet? Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Micro furry kinks don't just involve gigantic paws ready to uh, stomp their heads in. It also branches out to vor. This is so diverse, goddamn. Like the only difference is with vor, I kind of understand less of it than, you know, gigantic paws, because with gigantic paws, it's sort of like a very, very maxed out, like a very, very big foot fetish, but with an addiction to, to like, coke or something. At least I can see that. But with Vor, uh, I still don't get the appeal of being inside of someone's, someone else's stomach and being surrounded by their digestive juices. I still don't get that. Nobody, absolutely no one. Micro furs, stress relief toy, trample him. It is okay, I do not mind. Feel the power, you're in charge. I am helping. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure, you'd like to think that way, Mr. Panda. But the way I see it, you are an indestructible block of polymer. I could only hope to the whatever god that you believe in that you do not have any nerve endings in your body. Because if you're indestructible but you can still feel pain, this would be a living hell for you. Unless you actually want this, in which masochism, again, enters the arena. <laughs> See, what, I, what did I tell you guys, huh? What did I tell you at the very beginning of this video? Masochism will and always will spring its ugly head <laughs> into this video. Deep Blue says, Is the opposite of a macro protogen a Microsoft? Okay, I'm kind of surprised that this doesn't actually involve pause, vor, or massive amounts of masochism. It's just a very good wordplay uh, on a joke. But to answer the question, uh... Kinda? I mean, maybe. If if you really think about it, I, I don't know. I, I don't get this joke at all. I'm sorry. To anyone who's an expert in protogens and Microsoft, ah, uh, you guys, you guys can just help me out in the comments down below. I don't, I don't know this joke at all. Me, when I catch a micro. No, no, oh you, no, look, look at that little guy. I, it's pixelated as hell, but I don't, I don't see any blushing on it. I don't see any like smiling on his part. He did not enjoy this. He is not enjoying this at all. No one would. What, what is it with the abuse in this, in this branch of the furry fandom? What the hell? Oh, this is probably something kinky. How, what is kinky about getting slammed on the ground? What is, what is kinky about that? This is disturbing. But this is just art. It's still disturbing. Maybe this is just me being ignorant as hell, but I, I, I can't see any kind of for any form of enjoyable or pleasure uh, by doing this on both their parts. You know, I, I, I can't. I, I'm sorry. Macros be like, I can't wait to cause massive property damage. <laughs> Micros be like, ah, yes, food for one week. And it's just one massive slimy bean. Oh, oh, you poor thing. I mean, I, I see a Christmas tree in the background. I would, I would think this is his um, Christmas feast. Uh, maybe he's doing well. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's just something in me that wants to take care of him. You know, I just, I just want like shower him with food and love and affection and everything that he needs. It, it's just something in me. I don't know. <sighs> Why are you there? Maybe because you slept the whole night over me. How the hell did you survive? How the hell did you live through being suffocated and crushed? I mean, yeah, granted that cheetah might have a very soft booty and that mattress can be very soft and breathable like cotton, but how the hell did you survive? How are your organs still inside of you after being underneath a behemoth, well, behemoth to you for an entire freaking night? How the hell did that happen? And that brings us to the end of micro furry memes. God damn, this is not this was not a very enjoyable video to make. You know, I maybe it's this is just uh, like a very small portion of being a micro furry, and this is the only like thing that pops up in Reddit when I try to search for it. But maybe there are more positive aspects to being a micro furry, other than being. You know, a, a macros plaything. You know, I don't really it doesn't really sit well with me. Maybe it's maybe again it's just me being ignorant, but I did not enjoy making this video at all because of the things that I've seen. But uh, I would like to ask you guys if you've managed to enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, um, all of the things, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to join the official Discord server for my channel. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The links for all of that will be provided for you in the description below. This has been your friendly neighborhood macro for a day, Cookboss88. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.